was green. It was green as if there was something new, but there wasn't. Was your journey successful? I found a part of Ouroboros' journal. This is a shocking discovery. Not had it found even a hint of Ouroboros before now. It appears that our master has involved himself in the events revolved. In, has involved himself in the events revolved around the Rim Dawn's origins. It appears that our master has involved himself in the events revolve. Uh, revol shouldn't have been revolving around the Grimdone's origins. Being involved in world-changing events isn't exactly new for him. His guardian was contaminated by the void. It appears that, Katon uh, that Katon's minions do not look kindly upon our master's actions. Whatever he's doing, it has stirred the Katonians into action. It appears that Katon's minions do not look kindly upon our master's actions. Whatever he's doing, it has stirred the Katonians into action. I have little doubt that he prevailed against his assailants, though. 16,000 XP, got to 3,000 Order of Death's Vigil Rep, Mark of the Myrmidon, and Hold the Ground. Sadly, chest bit, but I won't, so I won't be using it. It's nice, it's a defensive one compared to the chains. Should we go after him? It has become clear after years of searching that our master does not wish to be found. If and when he chooses to return to us, we shall welcome him with great celebration and curiosity. What is next for the Order? We shall take the battle to the Ethereals and the Catonians, alongside our Black Legion allies, as promised. Beyond that, well, that remains to be seen whether we succeed. What about Ouroboric? So be it. Uh, you've served the Order well, and your discovery has given us hope that our Master may someday return to us. pains me to hear that we've come so close to finding our master, only to have that hope dashed. Damn, I was really hoping we would actually meet the guy. Let me check something. Good dawn, you... Our Ouroboric. There's actually an Ouroboric set. And the Ouroboric's Guardian. Huh. Yeah, I'm just looking at it, and I guess that. It does look corrupted by the void. And apparently, its model is. It corrupted skeletal golem. Um Okay, I really thought we actually met him. Ah, uh, no. He really is just flittering around somewhere. Let's actually head to here. I do believe it's there, so yeah, this is a far this isn't too far of a walk. Yeah, and plenty of beasts for me to kill though. Bring down the witch doctors ASAP. They're not that they're really able to heal the people, the grobbles. They, um. 
Burbles don't exactly take more than one hit to kill. Of homestead wrap. Nice. Okay, I've definitely made it up with homesteads now, so. Nice. I love when that happens. Okay. Spirit of Modrigan, uh, part of the Shrine of Modrigan, Ancient Heart, and part of the Shrine of Runestone of Modrigan, part of the Shrine of Modrigan. Ooh, ooh. It's over one with Titonians. Mar Marnash the Engorged. Harbingers. The Catonians have been purged. Avatar of Modrigan. And. Acquiring worm skill is so dangerous, you can manage to afford even a scrap, never, never mind an actual piece of armor. These boots were likely a status symbol for a wealthy noble. They offer 616 armor, plus 30, uh, plus 33 percent fire damage, plus 39 percent lightning damage, plus 37 percent burn damage, plus 26 percent electric damage, 33 offense ability, 41 percent defensive ability, 8 percent movement speed, 19 percent elemental resistance. It gives termite mine, two storm totem, oh, well, two to ter termite mine, two to storm totem, and two to smite. It also grants worm scale. The worm scale shields you from harm. 100% chance of activating, 20% chance, uh, 20, sorry, 100% chance of activating, 20 second skill recharge, 6,000 damage absorption, protects from bleeding and elemental, 450 fire retaliation. That is beautiful. Um, sadly, it would take a, give a hit to my offensive ability. But I am inclined to wear these. These are a legendary piece of gear. And while it would also scale down my damage, it's a legendary piece of gear. No, they actually do do an improvement. Scale down my armor slightly though. And some and some of my resistances. Uh, my resistance to bleeding. It does actually knock a huge chunk off my health. Ah, that's because the Mark of Modrigan are on those. So I'll leave it there for the time being. Let's be Horfrost Ointment. So many items. And here's this fixed. Y you have done the Rowani a great justice to say, mortal. For this, I thank you. Is this your shrine? This shrine was crafted in my honor, yes. It is one of many, though none have none suffered the corrupting presence of Gatan as this one. Your valor will, no will not go without reward. 16,000 experience, 1,500 rovers rep, a devotion point. So we got two from here, I think. I hope two. Probably just the one, probably just the one. Unholy inscription, and devil touched ammo. My inventory is full. 
May I ask some questions? Ask. Who or what are you? I am the Lord of Beasts, protector of nature, guardian of the Ruani. Your mortal kind calls me Mojugan. Ooh, we can ask about Ouroboric. What about the other gods? What about Ouroboric? You would presume that this idol of death, that this idol. Uh, you would propose this. You would presume that this idol of the dead worshipper stands am stands amongst the gods. A laughable suggestion. This Ouroboric is more myth than reality. How do you know he even exists? I found proof. Perhaps you don't know everything. Um. Guardian of the Rwani? The Rwani are my chosen people. It is through them that I ask to help my will in the common darkness. The coming darkness? Be certain of this, mortal. The suffering of your people has only begun. Shouldn't you be protecting Karn? This is a mere fragment of my presence, an avatar, but more than enough to squash, the, uh, squash you like the insignificant insect you are. So be careful to presume what I should or should not be doing, mortal. Then why allow the Grim Dawn to happen? The wheel set in motion to c The wheel set in motion to culminate in what you call the Grim Dawn has been spinning for far longer than your short life. Even one such as I could not have foreseen the events that inspired that day. But why allow the Tyros and Catonians continue? The world has become just another piece in their brutal conflict. To presume that the cycle could be disrupted is a, f is a futile wish of a doomed mortal. But your people will die. The fate of Rwani is for me to dispense. I do not expect immortals to comprehend my intentions. So you will do nothing. It's not... It. Uh, you're so helpful. I forgot... Uh, were you mortal once? An insulting question. Were you not a fool once? Nuclear launch detected. What's your relationship with them? They're, they're, they're. And okay, I think this is the boss fight, but that I was, you know, a friend had mentioned. But, um. Uh, I completely miss. Guess completely was incorrect uh, about the position. Okay, you can beat him. He summons... He's three summons. Uh, he has four abilities beyond that. Uh, Bard Torn Terror, Frost Eye Chill Tusk, uh, and Bone Back. Bone Back is... Apparently a weak type of creature. Uh, they have spines on their back. Uh, lightning Shield, Lightning Storm, Lightning Bolt Volley, and Lightning Strike. He gives Magnificent Spoils. Mantle of Modrigan and Spolder's Modrigan. Yeah, the mantle only drops on red elite and ultimate difficulties. Um, fifty percent chance on critical attack. You get a lightning bolt. A touch of Ultros's wrath rips through the sky to shock your foes. Two point five second recharge. Uh, two meter target area. One to one thousand. 202 lightning damage, stun target for a second. Um, the mantle worn by the Avatar of Modrigan himself. 796 armor, 40% lightning damage, 40% electrocute damage, 203 health, 42 offensive ability, plus 3 to Modrigan's Pact, and 2 to Primal Bond. Um, bond. Primal Bond. 50% uh, all damage, 50% lightning damage, and 50% vitality resistance. Without a tree being for pets. Um, so, hmm, alright. And the Spalders of Modrigan are the epic version. These are only a, these are only drop on normal. Uh, they give 626 armor, 30% uh, lightning damage, 40% electrocute damage, 22 offensive ability, 2 to Modrigan's Pact, 1 to Primal Bond, 40% total damage for pets. 30% lightning damage for pets, and 30% vitality resistance for pets. So, pretty big scale down. I want to beat up the Avatar of Modrigan. He's an ultra boss, apparently. 
fitting. Slap them into gee boys. Panty heels. Hmm. Someone's recommending to be with Sadie Five. Hmm. Panty party. The issue with him is all his summons. Um. That, you, know, you can just keep resummoning him in. Apparently, it's makes it fight a bit of a mess. Um, then it's other abilities. Um, someone here was saying that there was a video here on YouTube. It's apparently, got seventeen thousand views um, of someone as a saboteur on ultimate difficulty. Managing to beat him in 10 minutes. Apparently, that, it, that's the quickest uh, ro solo kill of him on Ultimate. Um, as of the 17th of July 2016. So, um... So, you know, that might have changed, that might not have. Certainly, it's not too relevant to me, I'm on normal. Um, but, from the sounds of it, yeah, I, I don't want to try and slap him. I don't want to try and slap him. Um, but, there's some fight mechanics to this. Uh, the uh, Crimson Edge 11 on Steam has, has listed them out here. Apparently, he has... an ability. It's, it's, it's kind of poorly phrased. Basically, he can slap you with a minus 130 lightning resist. So you have to, so you have to be, have a, be a cap, and then have an extra 130 above that. He enrages, in quotes, at 50%, gaining storm cores packed, 40% damage absorption. He hits harder, and has bigger crits. Uh... Somewhat quoting here, somewhat rephrasing. Uh, he's the Briar Torn, uh, Quill Spitters, and Charging Pigs. The Briar Torn is the only one accurately named. Um, I could bring up the wiki entry on him, but I can't be bothered. Um, the Pigs have a nasty charge and range mob spread out. The, as far as Crimson Edge knows, it's only physical and maybe Pierce. On the range, uh, he moves around randomly. The ads have life reach, but he doesn't, or he doesn't really benefit from it, if he has any. I he's a ton of defensive and offensive ability. Um, he's apparently, at two thousand three hundred defensive uh, ability, he can still be crit. Oof, that's nasty. Um, and they're just recommending that if you just want the shoulders, beat him on Elite. It's an easier kill than trying to do it on Alt. And not to underestimate the pets. They aren't your tri typical trash mobs and are buffed. So, yeah, that, that, thank you to that person, Crimson Age 11. It's... It's beneficial to know actually what you're going up against before you go into them. Most of the boss fights in this game, I just like saunter in. I got lucky against that queen that one time. Um, I got lucky against her. It's funny. I couldn't. I couldn't pull it off the second, even though it was burlier. Feels like she got an extra ability or something. Oh, apparently he's been nerfed. Uh, remember that video I mentioned? 
Apparently there have been nerfs since then and changes to mechanics, so things don't work out quite as they did in the video. Uh. Whatever. But, uh, yeah. As rude as this guy is, I'm gonna... I'm not gonna slap the shit out of him just yet. I got pricks and everything. Like, goddamn. Remember, um, people were talking, when the American Gods TV adaption came out, some people were actually rather annoyed at it. And, on principle, I've never read American Gods, nor have I seen the TV adaption. I can't really comment. But from what I'm hearing, I'm pretty annoyed myself. Basically, there's a god in the books. Really friendly guy. You know? Um, you know, he's one of the nicer gods. Really friendly guy. I don't know much about him in sight, so I can't even remember his name. But the show depicted him as a much more violent character, who, like, has a slave ship sacrifice themselves to him. In the books, he does. People were saying that he didn't even seem to care about being worshipped, and yet they changed him like that. Uh, the reason why I bring this up is I was just thinking nice gods, and he popped to mind, and then the perversion of him that the TV show did popped to mind. Because that bugs the shit out of me. Because they're basically writing their own fanfic and putting it under the author's name, the other guy's name. Ugh. I'm working on my own story, have been since the Legion pre-patch. I haven't been doing too much work on it. No, my head isn't quite in the right position. And as silly as that may sound, basically it, that impacts what you're writing. That's impacting the story you're coming up with. And I want to make sure I'm doing it right. So I've been only doing bits here and there and I haven't really been sitting down trying to Crack, crank it out, you know? But, you know, if people were ever doing adaptions of my work, I'd want them to actually adhere to the store and not start writing their own shit. Certainly, some things have to change between adaptions, but that doesn't mean suddenly, like, characters are suddenly completely different people. You know, stuff works completely differently and incongruently with the rest of the setting. You know? I don't see the point for that. Like, some things have to change, uh, apparently. I've never really seen a good explanation and comment on that. But some things, you know, I would understand some things don't transition well. Like, you don't really see many characters' inner thoughts in TV shows, do you? You know? Um, things are handled differently you know, between visual mediums and written mediums. But I don't see how that fluctuates over to, you know, bastardizing characters, basically. So, yeah. If anyone, if I ever do get off my ass and write it, I'd want the people to actually adhere to what's on the paper, what's actually canon for those characters, rather than deciding, uh, this! You know, like, you know, I, I have a grudge against my ex-husband, my ex-wife, you know, take a pick. So this character is going to be basically an XB of them, even though they're a completely different person. I'm not saying that's what anyone else has done, but it's just, at this stage, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, I'm not saying that's what the American God people did or anyone has done. I'm just going to be saying that... You know, if I'm writing a story, I would want people to adhere to what's actually there on the paper, rather than just deciding to write their own fanfic, to make their own shit up and put my name on it. You know? That's really not on. Maybe it's not as bad as I hear but apparently it's completely incongruent with the guy's established character within the books. Like, from the sounds of it, the guy was just a hedonist. He just liked... He just liked to live it up. Liked women, liked... 
Oh, I presume he liked other things, but mainly I just remember people saying he liked women. Uh, like sleeping around and all that. So, you know, and others were saying he didn't care for being worshipped, and suddenly they changed him from that into the TV show version. It's very, very strange. I can't remember where I was going with that. That's why I was just very, very strange. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, I still can't remember where I was going with that. Yeah, I can't remember where I was going with that at all. But yeah, anyway, I'm not a fan of bastardizing characters like that. It's, it's, no, it's not right. Like, if you're doing an adaption of a work, you should keep it tr hold it true to the source material. Like I was saying, some things don't transition well, and fair enough. But I don't see why that means, well, this character must act completely differently to its, to its source material. Like, some, what doesn't transition well are, like... You know, it's like some methods of story delivery, you know. Um... To be honest, I'm bullshitting this off the cuff of my sleeve. I'm not even sure. Like, it's just like some ways work better in text rather than, you know, on the screen. And also, actually, on a similar note, some things work better being read than actually on the screen because your mind is better at, you know, putting a thing together. Uh, then, you know, the, they might have for the TV or the movie, you know. The imagination is a wonderful tool. Um, but, you know, none of that really is relevant to um, the issue with the other thing, you know. You know, that's a case of story delivery. That's a case of, um, you know, production quality, you know? It's not an issue of character personality, you know? So it's... Yeah, it's a completely different kettle of fish. I've seen people making that argument before, but it seems like they're just trying to play defense, if you get me. Which sucks. Which sucks. I've seen a lot of people playing defense for stupid shite, but I'm trying to leave tangents behind. I'm failing spectacularly, as you can tell, but uh, yeah, I'm trying. Okay, yeah. I definitely couldn't go up against the guy as I am. He'll be like, he starts at level 71, I think they were saying. And he. Or maybe that's. That mightn't be true and normal. Actually, he might be feasible even now. Or like, maybe they were talking about the Leaf or Ultimate. You know? I have no idea. I'm not sure what all normal mode is like. I could actually head back to him, start pick a fight, and if he seems too burly, just leg it and try and pour it out. But yeah, no one sasses me. Tempting, but no. Took me a moment reading that. But yeah, sorry, um, I kind of rambled there because I completely lost my train of thought. Uh, my mind just went blank, and I had no idea what I was even trying to say. Oh, that's nice to have that little there to tell you how much discount you have and whatnot. Good, nice little bit of flavor or detail. Um, but yeah, ultimately, all I was saying was simply while I hear people saying that things need to change between source materials, it or you know, you know, between mediums, I don't see why that needs to hold true for like changing the story. Certainly, maybe methods of delivery and you know, 
some things will look better in some delivery forms than in others, you know? Like, I'm sure there's some scenes that come off much more awesome in the book than if they were done one for one in, well, in a, in a, in a book. They would come off, you know, core in, in how you're imagining it, how you're seeing it yourself, if you get me, than if you put it on the screen. At least with what we have now, if you get me. So, um... Yeah. Um... Damn it, I lost my train of thought again. I started thinking about Uraborg. And the other guy thinking he wasn't real. We found evidence. The guy doesn't know everything. But, uh... Yeah, I just keep losing my train of thought. It's quite annoying right now. Mine's elsewhere. Um... But yeah, basically it was just... Th that argument I've seen people make applies more to methods of story delivery and maybe, you know... Some things wouldn't carry over well between, like in, sp in reference to spell effects or creatures or what have you. But even then, that doesn't really explain the... We, we got it completely... That was odd. Eh, odd. Uh, we, you know, we got to completely change how these characters are, personality-wise. You know? That doesn't really uh, explain that. Um, I'm not... can't entirely remember if I've seen people make that argument in reference to that or not. Actually, no, I have. I have. Uh, it was in reference to the Warcraft story. Though I think the argument was more about Warcraft stories old, rather than it's from an old game. Um, it was more like, oh, we can't make them adhere to an old storyline. It was like, oh, it's 20 years old, you can't make them adhere to that. So, clearly, we need to, you know, completely change the Lord of the Rings series. It's so much older, you know? Though, to be fair, going by the Hobbit movies, we have already have started that. <clears throat> Ooh, that's the level 58 ring. Mm, I'm, I'm still torn on it. Sadly, the Grimdon Wiki isn't that um, authoritative on this game. Like, it has some information. I'm like, I'm just thinking here. Like, it has some information, but it's not great. Like, I couldn't really find out detailed information on Modrigan. It was just a PS. He can't fuck you up. Well, he can't squash you like a bug, like you said. And I have one answer to that. Full body cybernetics. Problem solved. Hits you with lightning, you just absorb it. Just powers you. Basically what I'm saying is, we gotta go find Modrigan, tie him down, and hook him up to a giant generator. Or giant to a giant battery. He will power the world. Now you're thinking with divinity. I got a little jingle out of it. Ooh, I finally hit my cap. Okay, you know what? Also, remember when I was saying the outsider was meant to, you know, the outcast? 
was an ethereal. I was just thinking, maybe she isn't an ethereal. Maybe she's like ethereal adjacent. You know, another creature of the Aether. But isn't an ethereal herself. Because from sounds of it, she, you know, isn't one. You know? That or she's trying to play dumb to it. Not not trying to, you know, be honest about that. In case it, we do decide, you know what, let's fuck her up. Also, that skull looks really odd to me. Just the way it looks there, it looks like, you know, it's like a freaky alien skull. Just to see how far, how far this forehead goes up. so many of those on me. Um. I want to get my potions back. I, um, seem to have misclicked and moved them. Ah, here they are. Back to the rovers for the enchant. The augment. Uh, first, we'll strip the other bit out of this, though. Keep add on. Heard news of the Shrine's restoration. The Ruani are forever in your debt. You're welcome. Your god's a dick. I'll give you a good price for what we left. I'm gonna choke someone when I get a chance. <laughs> well, wouldn't that be a funny image? Like rovers come up to go worship at the shrine, and there's my characters there, you know, with the god pinned to the ground, you know, t trying to tap out. Oh, if only, if only, if only, if only. Not quite that burly yet. Nobody talks to me that way. You were trending an ascendant, one who was old when Erolan was but a few tribesmen. Surely your mortal struggles have not brought you before me seeking your own destruction. God or not, you die. Woo. Bye bye Yeah, he is level 81. Still having difficulties with my minions, though. Ah! Some god. Actually, they were, they're all dead. Oof. I hate that fuck. Thankfully, it doesn't hurt your. Ooh, I never. I, I'm not sure if I ever got any of these paid books. Thankfully, I don't think it hurts the Rwani's opinion of the inside us. Wait, 
that's random. Okay, that's, I think, confirmed that there's something over here. That or they just do this to fuck with you. Clearly, if they, they need this blood for the ritual, clearly they just need to break out a big hair dryer and just, you know, get rid of it that way. Just dry it in. Problem solved. Oh, look. I once accidentally melted my keyboard with one. You know, if, if that can happen, I'm sure they can solve a, you know, little. Ligorian comp, you know, issue with a, a hair dryer. You know, it's not that big of a difference. Big of a change. 